This study aims to summarize the evidence for the association between exposure to e-waste and adverse health outcomes. A systematic search was conducted on five electronic databases from January 1, 1965, to December 17, 2012, yielding 23 published epidemiological studies that met the predetermined criteria. The studies were from Southeast China and assessed evidence of a causal association between exposure to e-waste and health outcomes within the Bradford Hill framework. Plausible outcomes associated with exposure to e-waste include changes in thyroid function, cellular expression and function, adverse neonatal outcomes, changes in temperament and behavior, and decreased lung function. Boys aged 8 to 9 years living in an e-waste recycling town had a lower forced vital capacity than those living in a control town. Significant negative correlations between blood chromium concentrations and forced vital capacity in children aged 11 and 13 years were also reported. Studies showed increases in spontaneous abortions, stillbirths, premature births, reduced birth weights, and birth lengths associated with exposure to e-waste. People living in e-waste recycling towns or working in e-waste recycling had evidence of greater DNA damage than those living in control towns. However, studies of the effects of exposure to e-waste on thyroid function were not consistent. The study suggests that exposure to e-waste is harmful to health, but more well-designed epidemiological investigations in vulnerable populations, especially pregnant women and children, are needed to confirm these associations. This article was authored by Kristen Grant, MIPH, Fiona C. Goldazen, BA, Professor Peter D. Sly, MD, and others. We are article.tv, links in the description below.